So I'm here with Bjorn at the Ordev conference, and we're going to do a night hacking interview. You can watch the interviews live at nighthacking.com, and you can also see them in the exhibition hall here at the conference in Malmo, Sweden. So good morning. How are you doing, Bjorn? I'm fine. How are you? Very good. So what have you been working on recently these days? Doing a little bit of work on, on Akka here? Yeah. So basically, we've been working on uh, Akka Streams, which is an implementation of the reactive streams standard uh, on Akka um, based on actors underneath. And uh, yeah, coming along nicely. A lot of name changes just to make the DSLs look really awesome, both in Scala and Java. Cool. And you, you hear a lot about reactive programming these days, which seems to be all the rage. But it's not really a, a new thing, is it? No. no uh, sort of the, the tenants of the reactive manifesto are basically old ideas, a lot of common sense, but just sort of uh, put together in a nice package with a, with a basic sort of set of uh, definitions for the terms so you can discuss it without getting confused. Cool. So um, what, sort of, what sort of new features do you have planned for the next, the next big release? Uh, yeah, the, the streams are basically the big thing. Streams. Uh, yeah, and, and with automatic back pressure propagation and also optimization of the stream transformations. Because when you describe the stream, you do that in sort of a lifted fashion, like they were collections. You do map, you do filter, you do all your operations on them. And then you sort of start running them. So you can do a lot of interesting optimizations on the representation before you actually uh, perform the actions. Cool. And these are good for doing? Um Parallel systems where you want to get high throughput or performance? Yes, absolutely. And also for, for chaining uh, computations together, going over the network and automatically uh, propagating the back pressure uh, from the remote system. So that, that's sort of the beauty of streams. And uh, the reactive streams idea isn't new either. It's just sort of demand-driven uh, propagation of data. So the subscriber basically tells the producer how much can I get. And, and that sort of makes sure that you don't choke the guy downstream. So what sort of um, systems do you see commonly used um, using reactive programming and streams? Yeah, a lot of the, the thing that sort of first comes to mind is big data processing. Right now, um, yeah, everybody's doing MapReduce, and they sort of need to make sure that they don't overload the nodes. So, and and Spark is one of the up-and-coming um, te technologies there, and it's a, it's a, has its own stream um, um, ideas, so to speak. Okay, so this is the first time I heard about Spark. Why don't you explain a little bit more about that? Uh, okay, so Spark is basically uh, something uh, that runs uh, on uh, uh, Hadoop file si the Hadoop file system, but it is sort of a different engine for doing the MapReduce computations. You describe them as stream computations, and then it gets uh, parallelized. They recently set the new world record. I think they were, I can't remember the numbers, but they were in uh, uh, order of magnitude faster with 10 times less number of nodes than oh, the wow. last world record of big data processing. So it's, uh, it's really cool. And it uses Akka internally for, for uh, managing the nodes in, in the cluster. So, yeah. Cool. So um, have you been working a lot with the rest of the, the type safe team? How's, um, how have things been going? Yeah, things are going well. I mean, the Scala language is, is making progress, getting faster and better and, and more stable. And uh, uh, we're, also, we're also doing a major overhaul of, uh, of the, uh, the, the, the play framework, the web framework that sort of sits on top. So there are a lot of things coming out in, in, uh, in Q1 2015, I would say. One of the fundamental things is also that we're 
we're incorporating together with a spray IO. I don't know if you heard of them. It's a sort of a uh, uh, rest framework for for uh, uh, Akka or actor assistants, basically, and they're being incorporated into Akka right now as Akka HTTP and cool. becoming stream based, of course. So, so what are the advantages of the um, the new framework over traditional web frameworks? So this is basically just for def so the ACK HTTP uh, framework is a, is sort of like a toolkit. It's it's at the level of defining your REST interface. It it really doesn't b concern itself with with uh, with being a full blown web app framework, and it uh, it has a really compact DSL for describing your your uh, your routes and your actions that you're going to take, and then. How you manipulate the data will be stream based then after that so you and and that sort of gives you all the benefits of being fully back pressured in both ways you can sort of like an asynchronous at the same time so you just describe what you want to happen and then the engine underneath will take care of it cool so for that would be mainly used for like high performance web systems or um, transaction processing. Yeah, I think it will be used for almost all kinds of things where you can experience large loads and want to be sort of changing with a, with a, with a demand easily and not be overrun uh, in, in a sort of a safe way. We are also moving the play. There is an ongoing effort to sort of like try to move the play web framework onto this HTTP. Uh, uh, toolkit. So, so. Okay. So, in the future, you might be able to just layer that on top of HTTP and yes. gain some of the advantages. Yeah. Cool. So, what are you talking about at your session here at Ordev? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, what we <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> what we were just in much more detail, I'm talking about streams and 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 uh, HTTP basically. So, yeah. So uh, I probably exhausted that part. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And are you going to do anything else while you're out in Malmo? I'm gonna gonna try to meet up with some people here uh, that yeah. I usually don't see because yeah, even if Sweden is small, you don't usually travel back and forth between the cities and uh, and right now we we become a totally distributed team as well and that sort of has some yeah, challenges. Yeah, I've, I've heard from some other guys I know who work at TypeSafe that a lot of people are working in. I think at one time there was a plan to have everyone move and be co-located, but now everybody's distributed. Yeah, yeah. There are, there are a couple of sort of places where we have offices. Yeah. One is, is Lausanne and one is uh, San Francisco. Um, but um, here in Sweden we have become distributed. So yeah. the, the ACA team is in... Uh, uh, in Sweden, Poland, uh, uh, Germany, Hungary, and uh, Lithuania. So we are try to stay in the same time zone. It sort of helps. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, so thanks very much for doing a short interview here at the Ordev conference. Um, we're going to be live streaming interviews all day today, and our next interview um, is going to be at 1 o'clock. So tune in for that in about an hour and a half. Thank you. Thank you.